All right, so this is a motion problem, and the key to any motion problem is deciphering what it's actually telling you. So there are six main variables that we deal with uh, in doing these, and they are listed here. And so three of them are velocities, all labeled V. So there's VI, VF, and V with the bar over it, which means average. So VI is your starting, VF is your final, V bar is your average, T is your time, A is your acceleration, and delta X is your displacement. So it's just a matter of going through the problem and trying to identify what we know. So the first thing it says is cheetah accelerates, that's the key word there, at a rate of 3.1 meters per second squared. So the units alone should tell us it's an acceleration, but it also told us it's acceleration. So I'm going to say A is 3.1 meters per second squared. All right, over four seconds. So seconds are a unit of time, so four seconds. It began at rest. So that's a starting speed. Rest means it's not moving. So VI is zero. And it says, how fast is it traveling after this time? So we're looking for VF. No information is given about the average velocity or the displacement. That's OK. We don't have to worry about those. We can ignore those. We're just looking for VF. So now that we've identified all the variables, it's just a matter of which equation should we use. So we need to find one that has VF in it, as well as these other ones without using any of these ones that we don't know. So we look at the first one that doesn't have VF in it, so that's out. This next one has VF in it, but it also has the average velocity, which we don't have, so that's out. Next we have acceleration is change velocity over time, which can be rewritten as VF equals VI plus AT. Well, let's see. We're looking for VF. We have VI, we have A, we have T. This is an equation we can use. If we can want, we can look at the other ones. We can't use 4 because delta x we don't know. We can't use 5 because delta x we don't know. So then we would just solve it with this equation, and that would be it. So here's another problem, and this problem, um, similar idea. We try to identify the variables. So a car traveling at 32 meters per second, so that's a velocity. What velocity is it? Well. It is the starting velocity, because that's what it's doing right now. So that's VI, is 32 meters per second, slams on its brakes and comes to a stop. So its final velocity will be zero in 28 meters. Now don't be confused, not minutes. If you ever just see M, it refers to meters. So delta X is 28M. What is its acceleration? So that's our unknown. So we don't know average velocity, we don't know T, but we shouldn't need it. So go through and find an equation that uses these variables that we know and the unknown. So the first one, again, no good because we don't have uh, V bar. Same with the second one, that's out. The third one, we don't know time, so that's no good. The fourth one, let's see, we know delta X, we know VI, we don't know time, so that one's no good. So what's left is uh, the fifth equation, we know VF, we know VI, we know delta x, so we can find a. That will be the equation that we use for this problem. So that's really the start to any of these word problems, deciphering the information given to you and then picking the equation you're going to use to solve it. And we'll go over how to solve it in uh, the next video. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.